Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the Ball Ages High with Shoto here, about to give you another WWE Mayhem video. In this video, we're going to be doing the superstar difficulty of the Booker T event, but first I want to show you guys that I'm currently in 7th place, even though I can very easily get 6th place at 411,000, and uh, the Nagan guy has pointed out that top 50 at like 30th is about 250,000. So the name of the event is called Brawler Bash. If for some reason on iOS you do not see this event, if you have an Android capable device or a PC capable of running BlueStacks, you probably want to actually go link your Facebook to your iOS account and log in on said device and Brawler Bash will pop up. I have this problem I was playing on the iPad until about 7 o'clock, and then I went into Brawler Bash, beat up Booker T, and then it showed up on iOS. There was an Android exclusive event a couple months ago that actually worked the same way. So, as you can see, in Superstar Difficulty, you get 7425 bucks, 60 gold, and 3-star Booker T. One thing to note is that you're going to need a full energy bar because it's 2 energy per match, and there is 2 days and 5 hours to complete this, so you have all the way until Monday morning to actually do it. So you have to use Brawlers, and there is absolutely zero synergy with Brawlers. Now, if you have maxed out three-star characters, I recommend using those. If you have any four-star character, being like Stone Cold, Undertaker, Dean Ambrose, and use them. Toy figurines are treated worse than a two-star character. So, for example, Samoa Joe actually has better stats than Dean Ambrose. And for some reason, Elias with less power has better stats than Baron Corbin. So, we're going to have... 16 brawlers after we complete this event and I'm really looking forward to it because I am going to be leveling up Booker T as much as I can with about $70,000. So you can see that there is also one, two, three, four upgrade events. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of energy. Booker T has about a thousand power. So we're going to start off against the Ultimate Warrior and we do have a class disadvantage but I'm still going to use Undertaker. Because using 13 buttons is not that bad. Off guard. Uh oh, we know what's coming. Oh my goodness! Too much pain for one man. It's not enough. Ultimate Warrior this. getting clobbered oh, no. by the Undertaker. No, no, no. One more shot will put him pretty much at zero. Oh, we know what's coming. And there's the clothesline Ultimate oh, oh, Warrior oh, at zero, oh, and he should be oh. pinned easily. One thing I have noticed is that. Even if you get certain opponents down to zero, and you can usually tell if you get them down to a low health pin, and the meter doesn't change, that's when you know that they'll kick out at zero unless you actually hit the slider. So now we have Chris Jericho, who is wild card. We have an advantage against wild card. Brawlers are weak against showboats, like John Cena. Rejected. Also, I find it, kind of find it odd that I have over 20 powerhouse characters. I think I have over 90 characters all together. Went for it! Look at this! Oh no, he's on a rampage! Ooh, Chris Jericho's getting pinned, so he would not kick out at zero, as you can see by the bigger meter. If the meter goes fast and small, that means they're going to kick out at zero. It's something that they broke during the Royal Rumble event and have not fixed since. But here's an interesting concept to possibly get people to spend money on the game. The crowd is here tonight. A VIP Run system where you actually can hold more items in your inventory. Maybe heal kits have a bigger effect. Maybe you get a free boost daily. It'd be something interesting to think about. I would also like to see a crafting system where you can convert lower materials like for example tier one and two weight oh, up to three and four oh, no. at the no, cost no, of no. a little bit of gold i think that would be I very fair so the miz is getting pinned Inconceivable. and dalt ziggler will come in it's not enough look at this Nick -nick. so the first fight of brawler bash you just fight oh, booker t it caused zero oh, energy man. And you get a lot of resources. It's a very good test for entry level players. And I highly recommend that if you are a brand new player to the game watching this video. 
and say you only have one or two two-star characters, don't be afraid to try the event. If you have to spend a little bit of gold on heal and revive kits, do so. But most people with two-star max characters should still be able to complete this event. Just make sure that you're not taking a lot of damage. Uh, so we, we have go. Bobby Roode going up against Undertaker. Bobby Roode is of the showboat class. But for some reason, he's got some of the worst stats in the game. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. But we even low static oh, characters can be made fairly coming. powerful. What a, what a bing bang. Look at this! Oh no! 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 He's in trouble! Bobby Roode gets picked. He's not going anywhere. Alright, so now we're going up against Ric Flair who loves to hit you in the dick. Everything is legal in this match. Caught him off guard. Uh oh, we know what's coming. Ric Flair takes a chair right to the back. And yeah, I probably play a lot more unorthodox than a lot of people. I like to grapple spam versus strike people because I hate striking and actually taking reversals on the specials. That's why I grapple spam. I don't know who actually does that, but I think it's the best way to play the game. Outside of the Royal Rumble events. Alright, so next up we have Shawn Michaels at about 536 power because we have to use all brawlers. 536 is around a top end two star and character. But it's a three star character at max rank one into rank two. It's not enough. So one advantage of having higher star characters is that they get a much higher power rating, which is what influences your score in versus. Oh, so if you have two characters around 1,500 power, you're going to get about 3,000 score back. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Bam! Shawn Michaels is going to get picked. So here the slider is huge, which means that if we were to fail, at zero he would just get knocked out and get picked. Alright, so next up we have Mankind and The Rock, also known as the Rock and Sock Connection. Mankind has a lot more health, The Rock has more damage. Mankind is one of the tankiest characters in the game, but so is Undertaker. Undertaker has more damage than Mankind, which is why Undertaker is probably, in my opinion, one of the best characters in the game, as far as raw stats go. Except for Braun Strowman and Andre the Giant do have better overall stats as three stars. Now, how do you guys feel? Like, I obviously do not do three and four strikes because I play the grapple spam game. So, where a character like Kane might be bad because he's a slow character, if all you do is grapple spam the opponent, it doesn't really matter what their strikes are. Like, I fail to see that argument where Undertaker could also be classified as a slower character, but in my opinion, he's one of the best characters because of his stats and he's got long range grapples. Now, I've also noticed that the people that are supposed to have four hit combos, their grapples usually suck. For example, Dean Ambrose and Shawn Michaels have low range on their grapples, whereas Kane does not. So he's at 579 power because he is a wild card, and we have an advantage the against wild crowd cards. Is here tonight. Undertaker barely working up a sweat so far during this event. Block that charge move. And we block his. Kane is gonna go down. But yeah, I have joined the WWE Mayhem uh, forums that Desert Eagle has, so I've been kind of communicating with some of the people on there, and pretty good group of people overall. I definitely recommend checking them out. I'm also on Reddit as Hollywood Shono. I do try to caption Hollywood Shono when I do posts on Facebook. 
so you guys know who I am. Don't try to add me, because I will not add you. Just for fair warning. It's so we got the Tombstone Cane eliminated. And Benjamin Ozzy discovered the rest. We have almost 24 completions of Brawler, so we've done almost 240 matches. We have Macho Man, Bray Wyatt, John Cena, Sting, and Booker T. So we have five fights left to go. We're going to have to spend two bits of energy going up against Macho Man. We'll probably just spend a full energy because I am going to have to do the High Flyer Superstar difficulty to get another title match towards the Booker T is I am trying to go for overdrive level 2 as I'm pretty much guaranteed 1 in verses at over 400,000 score. All farmed legit, no hacks, no exploits. About 10 to 12,000 a cycle. And yeah, I've done it 40 times in 4 days. It's not fun. Literally almost every hour of the day I've done a cycle. So we're talking 30, 35 cycles, almost 10 cycles a day. Including while I'm at work trying to do a couple cycles. It ain't fun. Luckily, it only takes about 15 minutes to do seven fights. So that aspect is not that bad. So now we're going up against Bray Wyatt. As we do have another advantage against him. Bray Wyatt, as you guys know, Let's is my third four-star. If you Great haven't seen that, go uh -oh. check that video you know out. Coming. Bray what Wyatt definitely looks fatter in, in the game than he does in real life. And it'll only be a matter of time before we see Luke Harper and Eric Look Rowan. Look at this. Oh, no. But how many of you guys would like to see addition to like 2 verse 3, 3 verse 3, 1 verse 5 in a true elimination chamber style oh, match? Where you have to pin everybody. I don't know, there's some interesting mechanics going on, and with the way that Mayhem has run events, I really think that. The best is yet to come. The WrestleMania update should be really interesting. Alright, so we have John Cena, Sting, and we have Booker T. So we're going to get this 6 energy out of the way. It's saying to use Dean Ambrose. We're going to keep using Undertaker, just because I can. You can't see me. There's the bell. Undertaker's still pretty healthy. Why should we stop there? I love challenging myself in superstar difficulty. Just because this is actually really easy with a max out three star. Overdrive level three for Undertaker, I believe. As we did get a Undertaker upgrade. I just can't remember if it was on the three star cases or three Ooh, wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. Uh-oh. We know what's coming. John Cena's gonna get picked. And eliminate. That's it. He's done. All right, so we have two fights left to go. We have Sting, who we do have an advantage of, and Booker T at 1,035. Now, we haven't done uh, standard difficulty, normal difficulty oh, of Brawler start. Bash. I will be completing that after the... Uh, Booker T quest is this. done because I don't need that right now. Unless I need to dump energy quickly, like I'm going to work, then obviously I'll complete the event. Because it's a lot easier spending two energy than it is one. And I believe the most energy we've actually seen from a fight is three. How would you guys feel about VIP also increasing the maximum energy you have? Or lowering the amount of time required to heal your superstar. I think that could be a big deal. But then you don't want it too pay to win. Probably healing superstars is bad. But more energy wouldn't actually hurt that much. But you'd have to increase the maximum energy proportionate in gold. So here we have the final fight. We're going to use Undertaker against Booker T. One versus all. And that is a horrible offer. 
I'm not paying 675 gold for 30 keys and 8 weights I don't need. Thank you for giving me the offer. The no, I want 360 gold for two tier 4 weights. That's that. a deal. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. Uh oh, we know what's coming. Hooker T taking a lot of damage. Two more grabs, and we'll have them in a pit. It's not enough. Now champions can kick out at zero, and I'm totally fine with that. Rejected. Heavens to Betsy. Oh my goodness. Definitely a lot of oil on Booker T. And Booker T eliminated. There is our three-star Booker T. Give me that title. 150 more score towards our Booker T in quest. There you see Brawler Bash event complete. 7,425 bucks and 60 gold as well. So we're going to go into our quest. I just want to show you guys where I'm at. So I'm at 3,350 score, and I'm currently at 131. In order to get a Booker T from Quest, you're going to need top 50. Top 50 is the only thing that will actually get you Booker T. And this is something I'm going to be pushing for heavily tomorrow. I'm probably going to stop doing Versus, except for the 4-star event, and actually focus on Quest, because we have one day and two hours left to go. So at about... 1.30 in the morning, we will have the quest results, and I would love to be filming getting that overdrive level 1 on Booker T. So now we're going to go into our roster. Let's filter out the brawlers. So right here we have Booker T. Base stats are 1,690 health, 195 attack, 345 power. The synergy is Gold Dust, who we have not seen yet, although... I've heard that he is available in two-star cases for a limited time, and three-star Kurt Angle gives 15% more critical hit damage. So Gold Dust is confirmed in the game. We'll just have to see how it plays out. And his moves, he has the Book End and Scissor Kick. I do want to try to show off those moves, you guys. And abilities, he has increased block power and damage endurance. So let's go and use some of the materials. We're going to try not to use the brawler materials. So 7,425, 442 power, 1,877 health, 217 damage. And to upgrade them, you need three tier two weights and a brawler weight tier one, 11,000 bucks. Now, I don't know if I have enough to actually get Booker T up to rank three, but we're going to try it. 452 power, 1,902 health, 220 attack at minimum rank two. So we're going to continue to use these 750s. I'm going to try not using the other brawler weights materials. See if we have any 2,000 jugs. Yes, we do. So it's 50,000. We're going to spend everything to get Booker T up to max rank 2. And we're at 666 attack. That's kind of funny. 2,404 health, 269 attack. And that's all we can do. That's pretty funny. Now to upgrade him up to rank 3, we would need 5 tier 2 weights and a brawler weight tier 2. 22,000 bucks. So in order to get Booker T up to rank 3 and show him off further, that's what we're going to need. It'll probably cost about eighty to 100,000 to actually upgrade him and about 150,000 to max him out. So that's what I'll be working on. But I'm very excited to have more brawler so let's take booker t into brawler slam versus so we have booker t and let's use matt hardy 
All right, so we actually have an easy matchup here. I'm going to try to just do nothing until we get to two bars. I want to show off his signature right, moves. Showboat, get the two bars. Caught him off guard. There's the scissor kick. Signature move. That looks badass. Ah, it's pandemonium in the ring. What's this? What's this? We're gonna get grabbed here. I'm okay with that. Sit on power bomb by Seth Rollins. Hit him a little bit just to get closer to two bars. Reach and there's the bookend, his main signature. Oh my goodness. It's like a modified rock bottom. That looks badass. It'd be sweet if he had a spit of Rooney to gain health, but I know he doesn't. Let's check out some of his special Win one board. moves now. Rock comes back in. Rejected. Rock is at one bar. Bookend. He's gonna grab my booker too. Uh oh, we know what's coming. Rock lands a stun into another grapple. That's bad. That's not going to put him to a pin, but pretty close. Have to be a little bit careful now. Look at this! Let's get off the shoulder tackle. He's only got two signatures, so it's going to switch between the scissor kick and the bookend every time. Let's fail the pin on purpose. I want to show off Booker T more. Got a diving close that looks badass. Again, we're gonna fail the pin on purpose. Almost. Let's get off the side slam. Oh no! 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 He's in trouble. And Seth Rollins gets pinned. Oh, he's not going anywhere. So you can see Booker T in action, and yeah, can you dig it, sucker? Alright, so if you liked this video completing Brawler Bash on Superstar difficulty as well as getting 3 star Booker T for free, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE Mayhem videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show on my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show with God, and I do not see Booker T available in the 3 star loot. And I'm pretty sure Gold Dust is not available in the two-star cases yet. Leave your comments down below. Let me know when you think they're going to be available, if it's going to be in the next update or what. Have a wonderful day, kids. And are we going to see Gold Dust or Booker T as a four-star? Are we going to see Triple H as a four-star? And are we going to see Braun Strowman as a four-star? Leave your comments down below. Let me know who you'd like to see next. Thank you. Hashtag Ask Shona www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!